Hello everyone, it is a new day. It's currently 10 to 5. I am just waiting for my sister to finish her LASIK appointment. She recently had LASIK and she had to come for a checkup. I am currently suffering from very bad skin. Obviously, I just got back from Bodrum and whenever I get off a plane, my skin just decides to erupt. I don't know why. Actually, I was quite fortunate. On the way there, I didn't break out. But on the way back, wow. The breakouts were real. My skin is looking a lot better. Yesterday, I actually went for a facial. I did the silk peel. I couldn't do any laser resurfacing or like laser treatments, which are honestly my favorite because I'm freshly tanned. But I'm gonna get it done next week. I have to get all of my appointments lined up. I'm supposed to be traveling to Europe, but like honestly, COVID has made this situation while traveling such a nightmare. I'm actually contemplating getting a travel agent because I don't know how to sort out all these flights. Like it's so confusing. I'm so used to just booking a single flight but now to avoid quarantine am i allowed to say that i want to let you guys know i'm on a super strict diet because i gained oh my god i've gained like 8 kg in total including the way i gained when i was on hormones including the way i gained when i was on holiday in bodrum gain 8 kg and i need to lose as much weight as physically possible before i go on holiday because i don't know if i can say yet because it's not yet set in stone well, if it's not set in stone, then I'm not gonna say it because I'll just, I mean, I just need to lose weight. If, if it is set in stone by the time this video goes up, I'm heading to Cannes for film festival. I'm so excited. Elisa and I need to actually sort out our gowns. We have, I think, two red carpet events and a gala. So we need to sort the outfits out. Honestly, I, I'm really, I'm really confused at this point. It was super last minute. Usually we'll have, usually if we have a red carpet or a gala event, we'll have our gown done a month at least we'll give ourselves like a month in advance to plan and go to the designer and get them done we have no time but there are a few dubai based couture designers who do some amazing stuff so we're gonna go check them out today i think we're gonna check out one designer in dubai mall which a lot of people have been talking about she's actually a really amazing designer so i'm excited to see her stuff i'm also on like a strict chicken and salad diet it's still a healthy diet it's not like i'm starving myself but chicken and salad it's not what i really want to eat every day and it's not even like nando's it's just plain char grilled chicken i'm having it now i've had like three pieces of chicken no i've had like six pieces of chicken chicken and pickles is life I'm taking you guys with us to go shopping i also have my eye on a pair of manolos which i can't get out of my hair and i need to get so i'm gonna hopefully get them at Dubai Mall. Okay, I got sidetracked, ended up coming to the mall to get a dress and I'm in level looking at shoes. He brought out these pink ones. Unfortunately, I was like, let me try on the other size. Let me try on the other shoe. So, brings out the other shoe. I'm walking around and I slowly realize they're not the same color. <laughs> like, I'm not tripping, but they're not the same color. Someone else keeps staring at them, it's so awkward. Um, but this is the last size in this color, but I think I'm just gonna get the green at this point. Okay, so now we just had some lunch, or dinner, had some corn, <laughs> and we're heading back to the mall. We just stepped outside the mall, which was there. We went somewhere over there. And now we're going to check out the Manolo store. We went to Level, which is where all the shoes are. They didn't really have much. The Manolo store won't have oh much. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. It's so hot. Did you guys know the, the restaurants here, there's like a Five Guys and like, I don't know, Tim Hortons. On New Year's Eve, <laughs> they charge a minimum of 1,500 pounds not pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. To sit <laughs> outside and have dinner. 5,000 dirhams minimum. Because they have one of the best firework displays right in front of them. To be honest, doesn't sound like my ideal kind of New Year's Eve, but if you're into fireworks, great place to be. Okay, we came back to level. We have no luck with the dresses, no gowns, literally nothing, which is a hair Murad, Ellie Saab, we did I'm find not going one. unless I have like an amazing gown. <laughs> I know. I don't want to go in like some basic. Dress. Ralph and Russo, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Got my shoes. Can't wait to show you guys which ones I ended up getting. Oh, you probably already know. Now we're heading home, I think. Also, guys, in case you're wondering why my sister still has her sunglasses on, she's not being rude. She's just going through it. <laughs> a very bad session of LASIK 
She's it went had wrong. two LASIK eye surgeries now. No, three. And this, no, this, the third one was PKR, so it's even worse than LASIK. So, I don't know yeah, what that I means. I still can't see from one eye. <laughs> now we're gonna go pick up the car, go home. Okay, so I just finished filming an unboxing video and a try-on video. Honestly, I'm trying to film all my videos at once because I'm trying to wear as little makeup as possible. I got back from Bodrum three days ago. Two days ago, I had the Silk Peel Facial, which is absolutely magnificent. It's honestly one of my favorite facials. And I say this about all our new facials because they're all amazing. And it's actually exclusive to Biolite. So if you are in Dubai and you want to try it out, definitely do it. It's one of my favorites, like utmost favorites. If you want to start clearing your skin, you have to do the silk peel before any other kind of treatment, especially laser resurfacing. So what I like to do is get a silk peel facial, ensure that all the dirt from my pores has been extracted and removed and i'll show you what my skin looked like right before my facial and this is kind of what it looks like now i mean it's a lot better than what it was looking like it was bad and whenever i get off a plane i always end up breaking out i'm always dehydrated and also weather changes and obviously makeup is a huge factor i want to try and improve my skin as much as possible because i will be going away in a few weeks and i don't really plan on wearing makeup right now just to ensure that my skin is glowing so what we're gonna do is do a little quick skincare routine you guys know this is my favorite face mask this is a clay mask from teamy it's got green tea and lemongrass in it smells divine unfortunately this one's kind of like dry oh it's still good this one's still good but they actually sent me a new one because i love this product so much and they are today's sponsor. So thank you, Timmy, for sending me one of my favorite skincare products. This is their Detox Mask, and it really, really helps extract excess dirt from your pores and just lift everything up, all your impurities. It leaves you with clearer, brighter, and better looking skin. Honestly, this is my go-to whenever I'm having bad skin days, and you guys would have seen throughout my vlogs, even when it's not sponsored, I love putting this mask on. They actually also sent me a face mask brush which I really need because I've been using my fingers. So thank you for that. I will be leaving a discount code down below for you guys. This is actually a silicone brush. It's not like a fluffy brush, which is amazing. And it's got their logo. It's really aesthetically pleasing because it's like a marble effect. And we're gonna quickly apply this. I've just actually cleansed my skin. I just cleansed it. I removed my makeup because obviously I was filming. I'm gonna apply this evenly all over. Wow, this actually helps so much. I'm going to apply this evenly all over my face. And whilst this dries, I'm going to do a quick workout. And then we'll continue our skincare routine. If you guys don't have this, I'm telling you, you need it. I use this at least once a week. Unless my skin is really bad, like it is right now, I'm probably going to use it maybe twice a week. Also, if you guys have sensitive skin like I do, I have very reactive sensitive skin, then this product is 100% safe for you. All their products are 100% natural. They have no artificial colorings, no artificial fragrances. By the way, this smells insane because I love matcha and I also love lemongrass. So, oh my God, so refreshing. And they don't contain any artificial preservatives. So it is very safe for all skin types. And you guys are going to see the results once I have done my 10, 15 minute workout. You'll know when the mask is ready to be removed with warm water once it has gone a lighter green. I want to like bathe in this. It just smells so good. It's just so creamy on your face. And then it dries and you're like... Okay, my workout is done. My face is dry. Now I'm going to use the green tea infused cognac sponge from Teamy and try and remove this. So with the cognac sponge, you basically run it under hot water, warm water, let it expand, absorb all the water. And then I like to just brush and like massage almost my face with the sponge. It's really soft, but it feels so good. And I always brush in like upward motions to kind of enhance the blood circulation. This kind of helps to like lift the product from your skin, but also is a great massage. To keep wetting this slightly, just dampen it to help lift the product. And it makes washing your face so much easier. Now that most of the product is like lifted off my skin, I'm gonna wash my face and show you the results after. Because, wow. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like right after using and clearing off the mask. I absolutely love it. My skin just feels so clean. 
and healthy. I love that it really helps reduce redness and like inflammation, which is what I suffer from a lot. But as you guys can see, I do have darkness under my eyes. I am currently using Revitalash, but to help renew my under eyes, just brighten them, I'm using the Renew Vitamin C Eye Cream from Teamy, which is very similar to the overnight sleep mask, which I mentioned in one of my previous videos. It's a tiny pot like this, and it's packed with vitamin C. It also has niacinamide, which is amazing. Niacinamide is also known as vitamin B3, which strengthens the skin barrier. It also contains a peptide that supports the skin's natural collagen synthesis. So you're gonna be left with glowy, bright eyes. I like going under my brow bone as well, and I do this in the mornings as well as in the evenings. I've noticed a lot of improvement, like a drastic improvement since using this. This also contains hibiscus. You guys know I love hibiscus. This product is also natural, vegan, cruelty-free, and perfect for sensitive skin. If you guys want to go and shop any of these Teamy products, which I highly recommend you do because I personally love them and will continue to use them, even if they don't sponsor my videos, I genuinely use these products because I've noticed a difference. You can check out the link in the description box below. You can use my code to get some money off. And let me know how you're getting on with these products. Before we move on to moisturizer, I'm going to go and put on my LED mask. Okay, so my mask is ready. My meditation app is ready. I'm gonna do a 12 minute procrastination meditation and just relax here for 12 Hi, minutes. Hi, I'm Tamara. In this session, we'll be exploring how to overcome procrastination. Taking some deep inhalations and long exhalations. Okay, meditation done. Wow, my skin is still glowing. My under eyes are like, now I'm going to shower and then I'm going out again for dinner with friends, but I'm not having dinner because oh, I'm on a strict chicken and vegetable diet. I have to really sort out my diet and overall lifestyle again. Every time I go on holiday, I ruin my life. I live my best life, but I also ruin it because I go out of routine and I need to get back on track in my routine. I ate so much, didn't work out. So we're getting back, back to life. We're going twice as hard and I'm going to be extra strict with myself now. I also need to plan what I'm going to wear tonight. My favorite part of the day, playing dress up. Can't wait. Today I'm doing my vaccine. I have decided to do the Pfizer vaccine. Per Pfizer. I'm excited. Not really. If I didn't have to do this vaccine, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wouldn't be doing it. I'm very much against it. Not because I'm anti-vax, I have had all my vaccinations as a child, but because I've already fought off COVID and as someone who is young and healthy with a strong immunity, I don't think I really need to be taking a vaccine for something which just came out a year ago. I know that is a strong statement to make and a lot of people will want to unfollow because you don't feel the same way, but I am getting vaccinated because it is now becoming compulsory if I want to leave the country or actually go anywhere within Dubai. I've frozen my eggs, so my babies are healthy. Uh, I don't know if in the future I'm gonna have to get them a COVID vaccine. I don't know. We're in a weird situation. I, I feel like I'm the only one trying to think long-term in terms of this because like a lot of people are thinking about right now, being vaccinated right now, thinking about the situation right now, but I want to think long-term. I don't know what this vaccine is gonna do. It's only just come out recently. Yes, they've been doing research, but... I am a skeptical person. I'm also one that enjoys conspiracy theories. Not that I enjoyed the 5G theory. I thought that was quite daft, but I do genuinely love to look into theories. And yeah, I do believe COVID is real. I've had COVID, I've passed it on to my sister. We both had COVID. We both didn't really have severe symptoms. We stayed at home. My mother moved out. She checked down to a hotel and left us at home with a housekeeper. I know friends that haven't yet had COVID. And I also know friends who have actually lost family members because of COVID. So I don't want to say it's not real. It's definitely real. It is awful. It's mutating. It's not great. And if I can prevent being a spreader, then obviously that's what I'm going to do. Not just for my sake, but for the sake of everyone else around me because I know I've put off getting the vaccine but I wanted to actually see how other people were affected by different vaccines before I went and did it myself. I also wanted to make sure that I'd frozen my eggs prior to doing so. Having done my egg freezing and research and seen my friends get trialed on and family of course, my entire family is vaccinated. I'm the only one sitting in my house being like, no I'm waiting. <laughs> 
I mean, there are a few funny memes going around. You're the only person that's unvaxxed and the rest of the world are like zombies that have been vaccinated. That does scare me a little bit. Come on, don't act like you haven't thought about it. Like, first it was a track and trace and you're like, they're gonna track us, they're gonna trace us. But if you're not doing anything illegal, like, does it really make that much of a difference? No. I mean, I do like entertaining theories. I find them fascinating. But also, let's be realistic. I'm gonna have to get the vaccine because it's become compulsory. And I just wanted to wait out until it became 100% compulsory. I also don't believe in anything good being free. But then I was told the vaccine isn't actually free. You actually have to pay for it through renewal of your visa. They won't renew your residency visa here unless you're vaccinated. I'm not really ready, but... It's just something I have to do. Guys, I officially did my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. A lot of you are wondering why I was so against the vaccine. Well, why has the creator of Pfizer not taken his own vaccine yet? That's what I want to know. And why would he publicly say that? That's another question I want to know. You might have wanted to come across as charitable and like humble, like, you know, I want everyone else to take it, but what's one less vaccine in the world going to do? for the entire population when you've been creating billions. I literally had no idea what she injected into me. It was just a needle syringe just lying there. Great. Oh, my arm actually really hurts now. And in 21 days, they're gonna message me and tell me to come back for my second dose. And I'm dreading that day. I can't, can't literally wait. So I've just woken up and I didn't have any pain yesterday. I do have slight pain, but only in the area where I was injected. It's a dull pain. It's. It feels like it should be numb, but it's not. If I press it, it hurts more, obviously. But honestly, it's bearable. And I know a lot of people were like, I can't lift my arm, I can't do this. If I lift my arm, it does hurt a little bit more, but honestly, bearable pain. It's very dull. It's not like sharp and like, oh my God, I feel paralyzed. I haven't taken any medication. And the thing is with me, it's more of like a, if I ever feel pain, I go into a mind over matter situation where it's like, I will convince myself I have no pain. So I don't have to take medicine. I am very much against taking medicine unnecessarily. So I don't take painkillers unless I am literally dying. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'll keep you guys updated. I feel fine, I did sleep in a bit, but that's because I took melatonin. She doesn't take medicine, but she does take sleeping pills. So I just finished filming my O Poly sponsored video. I do still have pain in my arm, but like it's not that bad. It's a bit, yeah, it's like a bruise. You know when you like, but I'm still alive, so I didn't die. Okay, so today is my second vaccine dose. I was supposed to do this a few weeks ago, but I was in Bodrum and I didn't, like I said, I didn't know if I was going to Bodrum, so they scheduled it. You can't really choose when you schedule it, but they scheduled it whilst I was in Bodrum. I went to Bodrum and I was like, oh, whoops. Now I'm going back for my second dose. First dose, I was fine, as you guys saw. I don't know how I'm gonna react to the second dose. My grandmother was perfectly fine. I know Ansi had issues with the second dose and like a few friends of mine I know have all had issues with the second dose. They say they were very lethargic, some people felt dizzy. I'm kinda looking forward to being dizzy. I do love being dizzy. I think it's a fantastic feeling. If you tell yourself you're gonna react badly, you're gonna react badly. Even if you do react badly, you can just kinda convince yourself that you're completely fine. It just works for me all the time. You saw how I reacted to the first one. Let's see how I react to the second dose. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be that bad, to be honest. I do have plans to go out tonight, and the place that I'm going to requires you to be fully vaccinated. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it this morning. I've been putting it off for so long, and I was like, oh, wait, I'm going out tonight, and I know there is a vaccination policy in place at this place, so. Okay, I'm in the lift on my way to get my second dose. This was a lot faster than the first time. There were so many people, and now there's, like, hardly anyone which means a lot of people are vaccinated. They don't need to be open for so long. I am fully vaxxed. I did it in the same arm in the left side. She did ask me if I wanted to do it in the right side. She said there was no difference, but I could choose. I chose to do it in the same arm. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I'm hoping I don't feel tired because I have big plans tonight. I'm gonna celebrate my vaccination. Okay, it's been two hours since my vaccine. And honestly, I feel perfectly fine. I'm just very tired. Not tired where I feel like, oh my god, I can't drive, I'll literally pass out, but tired like I could sleep, I could have a nap. I'm a bit of a sloth, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know if it's because I've not had my full 12 hours sleep that I'm tired or if it's because of the vaccine, but 
Honestly, I have no pain in my arm either. <gasps> I want to do the coin trick, but I don't have pennies. I don't think I've got any coins. Okay, so I just want to jump on here quickly. Um, excuse my appearance. I'm getting ready to go for a shower. My skin is glowing after my facials and my skincare. I've got some oil and a hair mask in my hair as well as in my extensions. And it's just pampering day. It's a Friday, I'm chilling. I'm trying to decide what to pack for can. You guys remember this Dior dress that I got ages ago in the sale? I might be taking this, but I'm not sure. I do actually have to go for my fitting soon. Came on here to update you about my vaccine. So I did it yesterday and there is still a little bit of pain in my arm. I don't have a whole lot. Last night I was completely fine, to be honest. I went out completely fine the entire night. Came home, slept for a few hours. I came home at like, three i slept till about five and then from five to like 11 a.m i was awake i don't know if it's an injection that's messed up my sleep schedule or if it's just me having a bad sleep schedule right now i feel fantastic ready to be tracked and traced <laughs> 